talking about a fungal therapy, you have to figure out how is the fungi essentially organized, right? Mm -hmm. So here, a fungi is going to have a couple components that's high yield. Cell wall, mm -hmm. and within the cell wall, they're going to have another little area, and that other little area is going to be your cell membrane. And the big thing that the US Emily wants you to know is that there are these components of the cell wall, and those components are going to be having a specific name and an enzyme related to it. So what's going to be the names of the things in the cell membrane? Well, in the cell membrane, it's known as ergosterol. And so, like I said, there's a name of these membrane components, but then also the enzymes related to it. So then you're saying, okay, I need to make ergosterol because ergosterol is made up of the cell membrane. So there are some steps that are going to occur. Well, one of them is squalene. Now remember in biochemistry, squalene is going to be derived from a cholesterol precursor, right? Mm -hmm. And so squalene is going to end up going through a few steps such as squalene to lanesterol and then squalene to ergosterol and that's into the cell membrane okay so what are going to be these components that are, or these medications that are going to inhibit these different cell membrane components well one of them squalene to the downstream lanesterol is going to be terbenafine, right? And so terbenafine is going to be used in things like athlete's foot. Right. Okay. And so the way that you can remember this is that think of lanestrol as a lanyard, right? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be fine without a lanyard? If you know, in the Indian language, bina means without. Are you going to be fine without a lanyard? Easy way to remember it. Lanestrol synthesis is not going to occur if you have terbenafine. Okay. Lanestrol to ergosterol, that is a specific medication class, and that medication class is going to be the azoles. And that's probably the highest yield one that they're going to put on the USMLE. Okay. Lanestrol to ergosterol. So what is the specific enzyme? Again, I give you a big picture and then I go in a little bit more. That is the 14-alpha-D-methylase. Right? And so the way that you can remember it is that azoles, right? Fluconazole, clotrimazole, itraconazole, ketoconazole, right? Yeah. All of these azoles are going to be kind of the most important thing you need to know, right? For um, your fungal pharmacology. Yeah. Guess what? When you were in organic chemistry, wasn't the methyl group like the most important group, right? You just put like, here's a structure, and then you're like, oh, that's a methyl group, right? That's the only thing we remember from organic chemistry. Ah, yeah. so the most important and the most important. What does terbenafine, what does that inhibit? Well, it's called squalene epoxidase. Okay? Okay. Now we're going to be talking about if you already end up getting ergosterol into the cell membrane, what are we going to end up having? Well, if you get ergosterol in the cell membrane, you need to now have something that is going to be porous to attack it, right? Mm -hmm. I.e. something that just messes that cell membrane up. Okay, so what's gonna be very terrible to that cell membrane? Amphotericin. Amphotericin, nystatin. Stat, form a pore to kill it. Stat, form a pore to kill it. So amphotericin, the questions on your USMLE you get, somebody who is very immunocompromised, has a disseminated fungal disease, has a CNS fungal disease, like for example, uh, cryptococcus, right? In that scenario, you're gonna give amphoterable, which is going to have a very 
broad stream or broad catch um, effect on these invasive fungi infections. Okay. Always use an immunocompromised patients. Okay. Nystatin, the USMLE questions you get, somebody with candidal thrush, mm -hmm. you're going to have that white patch in the mouth, you're going to use Nystatin. Yeah. How do you inhibit the cell wall, i.e. the fungal cell wall? Well, oh, it's really fun to inhibit this outside part, right? It's really fun to do that. Ah, okay, Rahul. So are you talking to me about the echinocandin class? Anything that ends in fungin? It's really fun to inhibit the cell wall. Caspofungin, mycofungin, okay? So all of this is to say, in summary, you have a cell wall, you have a cell membrane. There are different components of the cell wall and the cell membrane. For the cell membrane, it's ergosterol. There are a set of cholesterol-based reactions that occur mm -hmm. that are going to eventually give you ergosterol. And then there are going to be medications that inhibit the enzymes. Remember, you are going to be fine without the lanyard, be not fine, lanestrol, mm -hmm. and the azoles, remember that methyl group, and the fact that downstream you're inhibiting ergosterol. Questions on that? No. Nope. All right.